All right, fifth grade, open up your map packets to the second page where it's got the toucan sitting on the ground looking up at the sky. Toucan fraction number seven. Today we're going to be multiplying proper fractions and expressing them in lowest terms. So very similar to what we did before, what we did yesterday. However, you're going to notice today that some of my problems I cannot simplify before I multiply. So if you were doing that using the second method we learned yesterday, you can't do that on all of them today, all right? Which is why we've got to learn both methods. Let's take a look. Let's say we've got a math problem that says one half times one half. Can I simplify before I multiply? Is there any number more simple than one? No, so I can't simplify before I multiply. So let's multiply straight across then. One times one is one. Two times two is four. So one half times one half got me one fourth. And now Ask yourself, is that simplified? Is there any number simpler than one? No. So this one has already been simplified. It's just automatically in simplest forms, in lowest terms. So I've got my answer of one fourth. All right. Now let's take a look at one that's a little bit harder. Let's take a look at one that says two thirds times five six okay this one let's use both methods but first let's start with multiplying straight across two times five is ten three times six is twelve no that's two times six eighteen Good. Can that be simplified? Yes, it can. You might be saying, well, how can that be simplified, Mr. Ivan? Well, let's take a look at our tens charts. If I go to the 10 column, hey, there's 10, but is there 18? Nope, no 18. So let's start looking in another column and try to find 10. Hmm. If I go to five, there's a 10, but is there 18? No, hmm. let's try one more. Let's go to the twos column. There's a 10, good. Is there an 18? Yes. Now if I go all the way over to the right, hey, 10 can be simplified to be five, 18 can be simplified to be nine. So I get five over nine. So 10 over 18 gets simplified to be five over nine. Well, how did I do that? Besides just using my tens chart? Well, I did that through something called division. I divided both the numerator and the denominator. What did I divide them by? Well, 10 divided by blank equals five. 18 divided by blank equals 9. It's the same number. It's 2. So I divided the numerator and the denominator by 2, and I got my answer of 5 ninths. All right, now let's take a look at this problem, but let's do the simplify before we multiply method. Same problem. 2 thirds times 5 six. Okay, hmm, let's start with five and three. Can five and three be simplified together? Does three fit equally instead of five? No, and both of them are prime numbers, which means there's no other numbers that can be divided out of them. So we're stuck with the three and the five. Let's take a look at the two and the six. Can two and six be simplified? 
Yes. Why? Because 2 can fit inside of 6. What's 6 divided by 2? 3. What's 2 divided by 2? 1. Okay? So now I have 1 third times 5 thirds. Let's rewrite the problem so you can see it clearly. 1 third times 5 thirds. Okay, now let's multiply straight across. 1 times 5 is 5. 3 times 3 is 9. What I get as an answer? 5 ninths. That is the same answer I got using the other method. Okay, guys? So as you can see, you can either multiply and then simplify, or you can simplify before you multiply. Either way, you still get the same answer of 5 ninths. And to double check to make sure that your answer is simplified, look at your multiplication chart and see if you can find the numerator to denominator in the same column and shift it all the way to the left to get it in simplest form. All right, good luck today on Toucan Fraction number seven.